through the golds going through on the ultra soft so we have top gun on the hypers constant ryan yorin will start on the ultras aj on the hypers rangerich harrison on the ultras scott will start on the hypers ian on the ultras third pole on the hypers going out and with a free choice of tires is McVeach, iCallum and being emotional aj coming into the last section then he is in the way of Harrison, there's two seconds left and Harrison won't be able to set another lap. So he is seventh at best. Joran is done as well and Scott is done. Rangeric coming into the penultimate corner. Could he make an improvement? Could he go up? He needs to find at least five tenths. It's a 14-2. It's, it's an improvement, but it's invalidated and it's not enough either way. Um, AJ is in the pits. We have Constant Ryan. With a 13-5 and he takes the lead. Can Goat answer on that one? Ian goes into pit so he can't answer again. We have Top Gunner and Brew the Goats. Can Goat retake his pole position? We have Constant Ryan who's been on loads of pole positions lately. But he is stacked up a race win as he wants to. Brew the Goats comes out of the line. It's a 13-6-4-2. So he's one-tenth be no, yeah, one behind Constant Ryan. And Top Gunner goes into the pits. And that's it. Constant Ryan joining him. The first row of the grid uh, is his fellow Irishman, Rue Goats. And then we have Top Gunner, TYR, Ian, Rangerich in fifth, Jorin, Harrison, Scott in eighth, AJ in ninth, and Derek Paul in tenth. Either way, our leader, our front four, isn't disqualified. They are lining up to the grid. And yes, presto, I agree. I I think they should return the Swedish GP. GP. Um, he raced there the last time, I think, 1978. Uh, could could be a nice, nice, nice return race. But uh, it's not time for that now. It's time for this. Bit of weird camera angle. There we go. Constant Ryan from pole. Five red lights. And they are off. Mexico Div 2. This looks like a nice start from Constant Ryan, but an even better start from Top Gunner, just as I said. Coming down to turn one, it could be Top Gunner in the lead. He's right alongside of Constant Ryan. We have Go Goats on the inside, Top Gunner on the outside. Can't really make it stick. Oh, there comes a Renault. Yorin just plows straight through everyone and he retires himself. And Goat gets through in the, in the lead. And Ryan just loses places and he's down in eighth. Oh, God. McVeach is retired as well, but what was that? The flying Renault of Yorin 91. It, that's the definition of Torpedo. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. He retired himself as well, but we have we have Scott up into third place. We have the Force India. You have to make sure you remember this moment. We see we see this guy in third. This, this could be a one once in a lifetime, you know, but we have it. Rangerich is up to second as well. What shakeups must be said. The constant Ryan is dying in eighth. Like Gary up to sixth place after starting last. It's just, just what's going on. He will have to pit earlier than the others as well. Is he going to have to be forced onto a two stop as well? But look at this. We have three wide now going into this. Now Gary backs behind, but we have the Haas running wide of TYRE, and he's had to stuck in, tuck in behind Harrison. Um, and this is probably when all everything is going to happen. It's straight. I really doubt that uh, AJ can keep keep this place any longer. Here, here they come. Then the McLaren and Harrison goes past. Can, could Ian do something? He looks at him, trying to steal each other's slipstream. AJ is clearly behind him. Um, Ian has a little bit of a look up in the inside, but can't do anything. We have TYR Ian trying to get past AJ T07. He is losing time behind that Sauber. Harrison has opened a gap of one second already, but look at this. This is sitting to the this isn't an overtaking place and that's what's gonna happen you get into the wall and it's a championship leader who's in the wall the championship leader in the has TYRE and crashes loses a wheel and he is in the wall that is a shame for SF1 Jesso who isn't racing today but that's he's the nine 
nine point gap is going to be kept and that's a dream for Constant Ryan. He is currently 29 points behind TYRE and in the championship top. But if Ryan can get a good result here, he can reduce the gap massively. We have three of the championship contenders has retired already and we are only on lap four. And we have AJ in the pits, moving away from everyone else as well. Oh, what is going on? You have missed a lot, Marrow. Um, well, Yorin dive bomb everyone into turn one. I'm not, uh, so he fucked his own tire. I'm not sure what happened to McVeach. Uh, I was, I was um, occupied with that uh, flying Renault Harrison. I'm not sure what Har Harrison did there. Lost the back end or something. But um, Ian crashed while trying to overtake. AJ on the outside in the SS, but look at the overspeed on this Red Bull of Constant Ryan. Scott is just a sitting duck on the straight. Harrison from Constant Ryan from Scott down into fifth now. He wants to win this race. He wants to get up there and get within four points of TYRE and, and, and really be in contention of this championship. He can, can, he can see the trophy getting closer to him in the end of the tunnel as he could just make it but look at this the McLaren just have no speed the Red Bull of constant Ryan really looks to have really good straight line speed but he all breaks himself and cuts the corner and that's his three second time penalty will he stay in front though he gets the DRS he looks like he is defending putting the throttle down yeah he stays in front of constant Ryan then he is stuck behind the Toro so of I Callum is the sister car. The Red Bull team will not be happy with having him there, and I Callum lets him through before going into the SS. He it's probably really thankful he did that. Um, I think Rangerich needs to go go pit this lap. If, to be honest, he oh he's speeding into the pit lane. He does the classic Ranga. A five second stop go for Rangerich for speeding in the pit lane. Um, it gets the pit lane glitch as well. Here he comes. Here comes calls Ryan and Ranga. Seems to be fine. He can speed up now and is the acceleration good enough? It is. He is in front of Ryan now. He has lost time though. It's only it's only 2.4 seconds now. To Harrison with a quick overtaking guy, Callum and Scott going down the inside as well of that for us in. Yeah, not the first thing, yeah, the Toro Rosso, but he is on 13 laps, old Ultrasoft, so they're not really effectively racing. Here he is then, Constant Ryan around the outside, Ranga is defending this, he doesn't want to let go of his second place, but he can't do anything about that straight line speed of that Renault-powered Red Bull. Dirt pole with him, yet another three second time penalty. The penalties he had, and especially Ranga with his... Three penalties, four penalties possibly, and the stop go. That is not looking good for him. We have seen before that people have been disqualified for getting too many penalties. Oh, Gary's retired. Where was that? Seems to be in the last corner. Could have been an incident with Scott. Could it have been an incident with Scott? I do not think so, but Scott is in the pits. Let's follow with the Williams of. Third pole, there is the car, the Force India being emotional, standing to the left. Bruder goes now seven tenths behind Rangerich, he is right up his gearbox and this should be easy. I'm willing to say that, look, look at the pace of that Mercedes and the Haas, he, he gonna, surely it's not going to pass him through the SS, yeah it's, it's just there's no there's no need to it, just wait and pass him easy on the straight, just chill out. Oh, he's going up the inside, Oof. that's not going to work, there's no need for it, just chill out mate. You can pass him here, it's fine. Oh, he's always going into the pit lane to pass him. With the DRS activated, that would gain him the extra speed. We have Scott overtaking third pole. Rangerich, is he going to dive it back? Is he going to risk it? Probably not. With all those penalties, it's not worth it. Um, he is still six seconds in front of, of Ryan, but I can't see him keeping that either, can you? Eight laps to go.
We have Derek Paul coming back at Scott now. Look at this, Concert Brian is all, already behind Raga. What? How quickly did that go? It's like going past the cone or something. It's like Raga isn't even there. He's just. He's just a Red Bull racing on a, in a park, you know, Sunday drive. I don't know. Whatever is easy. Top Gunners catched up to to Harrison. We have oh, Callum with a five second stop go for ignoring yellow flag. Oh no. Scott is moving out of the way for GOAT, so this is this isn't well handled. This is really badly handled to be honest. What are you doing? This is gonna be an opportunity for Callum. Oh don't fight behind GOATs. I'm just waiting for them to take out the leader and Oh god, we'll always hit him. This isn't nice racing, is it? This isn't nice racing. It's just, it's not even racing, it's just bad, bad, bad uh, way of dealing with blue flags, isn't it? Top Gunners gone past Harrison now. Um, Callum catching up to Scott. Those eight laps old hypers are, aren't working very good anymore, are they? Gary did nine laps on them. Then he had to pit. Scott will have to do roughly 15 laps, 14. But this is unfortunately going to be the last time they're going over the main straight. Brutal Goats going on to lap 36 of 36 now in the lead. He looks that he's going to keep this lead as well, but he has no pace. It's just dropped off. I think his tire's gone. Um, either way, Looks like he has more penalties as well, so Constant Ryan, if if Constant Ryan will happen to win this race, he will be four points behind TYRE in the championship battle, and that retirement from TYRE could be really costly. It could pro prove to be championship deciding, actually. He must be fuming. He must be fuming. 1.5 seconds now. It's not going to be enough, is it? He will have to have... Really, really amazing a section there, and then do a dive bomb into the, into the hairpin, but I can't see that coming. Look at look at it. Look at the gains though. 1.2. That's half a second, right there. That's half a second right there. Five, seven tenths. It's down to one second. The gap now. One or two more laps, and he would have passed him on track. Either way, the confetti is up. It's green. It's white. And it's red. It's for the Mexico colors. We have Brood of Goats crosses the line in first, but it's going to be Concert Ryan taking home the win, and it's going to be with a gap of five seconds in the end. Too many time penalties, and uh, Brood of Goats fucked himself, really. He uh, he had this one. He got the more penalties than, than Ryan did, and, uh, and Ryan got it, and that could prove really crucial for Ryan and, and crucial for Ghost as well because he he would stay in the championship battle I think he does that now as well to be fair but 7 points less and, and 7 points is a lot now in the end Rangerich coming through then in 3rd but will he keep that 3rd place yes he will it seems it, the gap is went down from 11 to 2.8 seconds but he keeps that 3rd place then we're just going to go through the standings of the race, and the race results is, as you know, comes with Ryan in first with Bruder Goats, the two Irish men with the 1-2 for Red Bull and Haas, and then we have Rangerich completing the podium in third. Top Gunnar and Callum, fourth and sixth for the Torosos, and fifth between them is Harrison, Callum, Paul, Scott, we have AJ and retired Gary, Ian, Jorin, and McVeach.